most of them are are not on mom or dad's dime and staying in a dorm and mm -hmm. and they, they don't have the luxury of being able to necessarily focus entirely on their academic pursuits. Most of our students are working parents uh, or, or children of parents that they're caring for. Mm -hmm. They have life and family and work obligations. Um, I think the most recent stats I've seen is that more than three-fourths of our students work full or part-time, or is in some cases right? both. Mm -hmm. So we have to provide, and we must provide services that are efficient, that are effective, that are clear, mm -hmm. that are approachable and user-friendly. Right. And, and I, I told our president in, in our President Neil Wilson in accepting this position that I see as much of my job as not just being a success in this position, but to make the whole institution more successful and more poised for the person that will follow after me. That's tremendous. So that's what we're trying to get to. So you're just taking this on as a one-year opportunity to help uh, as an interim? Well, we, it's, it's been clearly stated that it's a minimum of six months, probably up to 12 months, at which time we'll, we'll look at advertising again for the position. I'll be eligible to eligible obviously to apply the position hopefully uh, in short in short time I will have um, led some pretty uh, pretty amazing uh, improvements and changes in the way we do things and great maybe we'll be that successful candidate then absolutely we'll that's see. exciting Greg of course you've been doing so much over your decade of service when you joined the college almost 10 years ago next month what were some of the things you originally intended to do and of course you'd come I believe from a position, had you been at the Ori Independent before? I, that? I was at the Ori Independent for a number for four. about four years and had a, a, a couple of stopovers in in some other jobs. Right. Um, but I came on staff. My title was staff writer. That's what I was at the college. And I Is did that right? Press releases and did the copywriting and, and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, my my goals there at the college have, have been what they are anywhere else, and it's it's not just to do the best job I can, but to make the people around me and the organization mm -hmm. I work for better right. and the, the best that it that can be. And, and um, I like to think we've I've had some impact, some positive impact in that regard, but I work with tremendous people, just oh, amazing yeah. people. I have never been in a place outside of a church right. where people were more passionate and committed to the purpose. Our president, yeah. our senior VP, the other VPs, they they genuinely care mm -hmm. about the institution, about its success, about our students mm -hmm. and, and their success, and that just makes it a joy to work there. You know? Yes, and the entire commission, the Ori Georgetown Technical College Commission. commission our foundation. The foundation, and not, not only the likes of Tom Mazur who's out in the forefront <laughs> all the time and other Herald columnists, but of course really that uh, so many of the board members there who make a difference on a daily basis and you see that verb in board meetings you see the excitement there the folks really wanting to make a difference whether it's folks like Bob Gray's uh, brother Dan who's active right. uh, as the first district congressional representative there on the statewide commission or he'd, he'd be just as active on the local level if absolutely. he wasn't on the state level absolutely and it's folks like that you know earlier this week we had a chaplain from the US Air Force Reserves on the show on Tuesday Greg and you hear him talk about uh, finding uh, clear positions that he can't go too far in within his service there the, as a chaplain in the Air Force Reserves, you find folks pushing the envelope to try to serve. And in, in the role right. here where y'all are constantly wanting to provide service, but at the same time knowing there's a, a lot of activity that, uh, that you could be doing, you've got to find certain niches. Yours right now are of course, advising, admissions, and counseling. That's your yeah. niche right now. Right, right. And we're uh, responsible for the recruiting and the marketing of the institution. And, and right. you cannot do it on your own. No, yeah. you, if you attempt to do everything, you'll be good at nothing. That's and, it, exactly. And, and so we're a college that, we're an organization that attempts to to empower those who want to succeed mm -hmm. and, and to give them the opportunities to advance and, and to take on leadership leadership duties and it's a team approach. Oh, yeah. I told the student affairs staff day one is that I am not here to crack a whip and to turn over an apple cart that has both good and bad in it. Mm -hmm. I'm here to be a coach right. and, and to, to address the bad where it needs to be addressed but more than that to make the good better. Mm -hmm. to make it 
Good to Great. The, mm -hmm. uh, Good I think, to I Great, think that's, yeah. I think I've heard that title somewhere that before. That you have, yes, but, yes. But that's what we have to be. And on the counseling side, this new this position as Associate VP for Academic, uh, for Student Affairs, the role of counseling, you provide that for students of across the board. Yeah, and, and I obviously don't directly right. but I supervise those uh, those who do. It's important to connect individuals in, to help them find a path. Mm -hmm. um, you know, an individual walks in and says, I, I want to be a blank. Right. That's great. And we want to, we want to help them achieve that goal. We, wa we also want to make sure that their, their stated wants ma match up with their real life right. needs. Right. And, and that's, that's where career, we provide a full spectrum of career counseling, uh, interest assessments, skills inventories. Right. Um, to help make sure that the individual is not just wasting their time. A year later, to say this, I really was not interested in this. Mm -hmm. Well, let's help point you in the right way first. That's tremendous. Who all is eligible to attend Ori Georgetown Technical College, Greg? I mean, if if a viewer right now is watching uh, and they're working a full time job, right. could they could they become a student? I think you highlighted that a lot yeah, of folks are. Ab absolutely. Um, you must be there. There are several options. Even if you're a high school junior or senior, you can even be in, involved uh, involved in dual enrollment classes at the college. Great. Um, you can earn credit toward your high school diploma and earn transferable college credit at the same time through our PACE program, program for accelerated college enrollment, mm -hmm. dual enrollment. Uh, but typically, we have an open admission policy. If if you're an adult and have a high school diploma or or its equivalent GED, mm -hmm. uh, and you uh, meet the minimum academic requirements for admission, we're going to do everything we can to to help you get to your academic goals. And one of our specialties is those non-traditional students. Right. We love it when when the thirty-something comes back and says, "I haven't been to school in ten years. Right. I'm scared to death." Join the rest of our crowd. In fact, 80% of our student body has been out of high school five years or more. Is that right? 80%? Right. And That's they've had tremendous. major life issues that have, have caused that delay, or uh, they've lost a job, or they, they've seen the death of a spouse, or whatever, and they've found themselves in a situation where they need more skills. They need right. more learning. That's who we who we we cater to. Sure. And we also cater to the traditional student coming straight out of high school. Right. And we offer online program options. We Is that offer right? night right. and weekend courses. And uh, of course, you know, our links our programs are intended to be completed in two years or less. They can transfer on in many cases to complete a bachelor's degree and beyond. Mm -hmm. and sure. So we try to be flexible. We try to be affordable. We try to be accessible. And uh, one of the phrases we've been using more and more frequently when we talk about students is your success is our highest goal. Great. And we want to just show that in everything that we do. You even have folks who graduate from college but want more ex ex extensive education. Oh, they absolutely. graduated from a four-year college. For absolutely. Instance, about, 10 percent, about 10 percent of our current enrollment uh, already has a bachelor's degree or even a master's degree in mm -hmm. some cases. And I, I, I'm one of the fortunate ones. I have a bachelor's degree in English. My bachelor's degree is in, Eng is in right. English, and I just happen to get a job working and writing for a newspaper. Um, liberal arts is a tough row anymore unless you're going to mm -hmm. stay in education and, and right. pursue uh, a real academic career. Um, it's difficult to say, I can write. Uh, if you're not going to pursue a career in writing. Right. So we're finding more and more students who have degrees and they say, but now I've got to get skills to get a job. Mm -hmm. I can remember one, one of the first young man, men that I met out of the college when I came in 97, uh, he had a bachelor's degree in psychology from the College of Char was the College of Charleston at that time. Right. And I met him because he was the class president for our graduating radiologic technology students because he mm -hmm. said I had a degree in psychology and couldn't get a job and so I came back and he was walking in to a, a good paying job right. after his time with us and, and more and more employers want to know what can you do right what right. skills do you have how are you going to enrich my business both figurative, mm -hmm. figuratively and literally mm -hmm. and not necessarily uh, just what's your you know what's the level of your degree mm -hmm. um, employers value skills and and work focused skills. And so that's what Ori Georgetown Technical College is exactly all about. about. I love it. The that's force right. behind the workforce. That's right. I'm going to coin that for a while. You know, you think about it for yourself and you see that every day. You said 70 different studies uh, 
seven different programs of right. study. Right. That's a tremendous number, it is. really opening the doors. It is. Folks, again, you've got many of those, if not all of them, online at hgtc.edu. We do offer many online online programs. In fact, our, uh, I guess it was two years ago. It's been two years now that we actually have a completely online track for our oh, general yeah. business associate degree. Great. So students can complete those classes, all the classwork online. Yeah, I wouldn't think necessarily about all the classes being online, but you'd have lists of all of those. So the oh, oh yeah, go yes, 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 absolutely. To see, uh, to absolutely. see what all those were. If they, they didn't want to uh, bog somebody down at the 349-5277 number, but I'm sure they can get a your full folks listing. are saying, come on in, talk absolutely. to us. We've got stuff for you. You can print stuff out online. Absolutely. And, and one of the things I do advise, this is a terribly busy time of year. To yeah. give, you, uh, give you an idea of volume, our, the goal that I have set for our folks in admissions is the receipt of 4,995 new applications for this fall. Mm. Let that sink in for just a second. This is an institution that when I first arrived there 10 years ago, we had just broken 3,000 total enrollment, mm. and we're going to receive, we'll, we'll beat that, we'll receive more than 5,000 new applications for this fall mm. alone. Um, it, it, because of that heavy volume during this period of time, it's best. If you, if you can at all possible, come see us. Uh, we try to be as responsive as we can to our online inquiries and our right. phone calls and those kinds of things. But if you can take the time to come by, we can, we can help you probably even more effectively in person. But call us, email us, whatever. Get in touch with us. We want to help you. Great, great words, Greg. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you, Greg. My pleasure. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more. Carolina people with the Associate VP for Student Affairs, Greg Thompson, coming up next. Two great anniversaries coming up within the month. You heard Greg talk about it. For us at the Herald, the show sponsor, it's a big, uh, a big celebration. Three years of writing Faith Takes Root. It's been a tremendous vehicle for us as the Herald to get the word out through a great stalwart like Greg Thompson and his new role as worship pa pastor there at Redemption Church and that opportunity to serve so many others. You heard him talk about the atypical church service. It truly is that, being out of the Horry County Shelter Home this past weekend. Think about that. Think if you're in a church that's going out and not sitting in the same pew in the same place every Sunday, Sunday after Sunday. It's an everyday church, the opportunity at Redemption Church. At the same same time, Greg's got a new, ten year, a new celebration of his 10-year service here at Horry Georgetown Tech that's coming up next month in September. You can also learn more about Ori Georgetown Technical College online at hgtc.edu, hgtc.edu, or pick up the phone, 843-349-5277. That's 349-5277.